So this question is a moments question. We have some definitions in here. So again, we're going to be looking at making sure that we get the precision of the language right. And then we have a effectively a bridge support modeling system going on. First question says, state the principle of moments. It's worth two marks. So again, you want to make sure that we're getting two bits of information in there and using the right precision of language. You get your first mark for saying that for a system in equilibrium and the second mark for saying the sum of clockwise moments is equal to the sum of anti-clockwise moments. It's really common for students to get the second mark, but not the first. Then we have got a bridge support here. We've got a uniform beam and because it's uniform, we know that its weight of nine times acceleration due to gravity is acting right in the middle. And we're being asked to calculate the magnitude of the downward force on the right hand support and the left hand support. Now, if this mass was somewhere in the middle, then we would need to take moments about one of the supports to work out the support force. And then we could work out the other force. But because this mass X, which is 3 G force downwards, is right over the right hand support, if we were to do that, it works out that being over the support is the same as the reaction force here, all being on this support force. So we know that we have an upward force there of 3G, a support force from there. And then both of these beams are going to experience an additional upward force splitting the weight of the beam. So that will be a half times nine times G on both sides. So the right hand support is going to be equal to my three times 9.8 plus my half times nine times 9.8 and that gives me a force of 73 newtons my left hand support is just taking half the weight so that's a half times 9 times g which is equal to 44 newtons And remember, when we're doing this, we're always wanting to consider equilibrium and moments. OK, so our total upward force has to equal our total downward force. This satisfies that condition. OK, now we're being told that block X is moved, so it's now in the centre. So now we do have to take moments about the supports. We're now working out what is the magnitude of the downward force on the right hand support and the left hand support. Now the downward force is going to be the same as the support force. So to work out what the magnitude of the force on the downward support is going to be, we need to take moments about the left hand support. So we're imagining that this here is our pivot. So we take moments about the left hand support. Well, let's redraw this and get a little bit more detail on our diagram. We're now modeling this as our pivot point being here. And we have got our X acting down. That was our 3G. It's one meter from the right hand end. The whole plank is 1.5 meters. So that means that it is a distance of 0 0.5 meters from the left hand side. And we have the weight acting in the middle. That's 9G. And that is going to be halfway along that plank at 0 0.75 meters. So we're effectively working out what is our overall clockwise moment here. So that's going to be equal to 3 times 
times 0 0.5 plus 9 times 9.8 times 0 0.75 and that gives us an answer of 80.7 newton meters so that there is my effectively my clockwise moment if that's the case then my anti-clockwise moment is going to have to be equal to that so but let's look at our support force first anyway so 80.7 newton meters i've got to have a support force acting upwards there for this to be in equilibrium s that is equal or rather at least a yeah a support force that will yield a moment of 80.7 newton meters well in order to get that going up that way i will have my support force times 1.5 meters because that support force is acting at 1.5 meters away from the pivot point here. So my support force times 1.5 is equal to 80.7. Therefore, my support force is equal to 80.7 over 1.5. So that gives me a force of 53.8 newtons that's what my support force has to be that is going to be equal to the force that is acting downwards there then for the left hand support we could faff around and go about moments all over again or we can just state that for this to be in equilibrium my total upward force has to be equal to my total downward force now my downward force in total is equal to my weight of my plank 9 times 9.8 plus the weight of weight x so 9 uh, 3 times 9.8 which gives us a total downward force of 117.72 newtons well i know that my upward force at the right hand side is 53.8 so if i take that away from the total force that will give me what this force here has to be so 117.72 minus 53.8 gives me a force of 63.92 newtons and for these ones here we would round them up likely to two sig figs so that would be 54 and this would be 64 